So the Drugs Me website, I think, is one of the best harm reduction websites in the world. I'm going to put that out there. It gets, we get lots of um, hits from people all, all around the world coming to the website to find out about drugs and how they can reduce harm of them. There are two sections to the website. There's this thing on the left that all the different drugs underneath, and then right is talking about like individual things like addiction, mental health, overdose. There's an introduction to students for safer drug policy on there. Definitely go to that if you're interested in doing more in this space. But if we go on the drugs bit, we can click drug, let's go for Coke. You can click one of the drugs underneath and we have a guide. Now this is all very clear. We're not encouraging people to do this. We're not celebrating it. We're not glorifying it. We're just telling people how it is with really key harm reduction messages. So the, the three main things for cocaine, one, avoid alcohol, two, test it, three, be hygienic and then we've got loads and loads of information about what you sometimes find in cocaine how you can get it tested the effects of it what an overdose looks like how it feels what it what it looks like from the outside what it feels like for the individual dosage typically what people will use when they take cocaine different uh, thresholds of what we would consider light common strong and heavy amount people would take when they smoke cocaine or crack cocaine the effects and how long they kick. we've got loads and loads of information but this is a bit that i to raise awareness of and that is this interactions chart that we have so what you can do is you can click any of these buttons underneath and it'll tell you how they interact with each other so coke and alcohol dangerous strongly recommend people don't take them together coke and amphetamine caution then you know you can go through and find out how these drugs interact in the end if you go on the alcohol one it's just lots of like bad 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 but you check it i'd put the link in in the in the chat if if she hasn't done already, but we've got a whole range of guides on here. We've got loads of information about how people can stay safe and look after themselves. It's just a really good um, resource to share around. I'm sometimes cautious around forums. What people say is, um, what people often say is, oh, there's some really good forums of people talking about uh, different drugs and stuff. And yeah, there are some, there are some really, really good forums, but the thing that we have to be careful of with forums is they're not really always evidence-based often just people's opinions and people's take and if you go back to the drug set setting model what we know is that people have really complex relationships and experiences with drugs it's not fair to say oh that drug does that and that drug does that so i'm cautious around forums and encouraging that people go on forums to get harm reduction uh, have that as their like their main go-to for harm reduction advice it's good if you want to learn more and, and hear about people's different experiences but you know it doesn't all you have to do is just google reddit and then a drug and you will just find like wacky stuff that people are saying and claiming and doing around drugs. So yeah, I would, I would be careful.